For those of you that don't know, Windows 10 is a free download directly from Microsoft. I'm gonna show you how to download the Windows 10 ISO, which is the install file that you'll need whether you're installing it using VirtualBox, Parallels, VMware, or dual booting with macOS Bootcamp. If this helps you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Open up your browser and search Windows 10 ISO. The ISO is important. The first result should be the official Microsoft website. If for some reason you don't see that, check in the link in the description. When you get there, you should see the option to download Windows 10. Pause. If you're already on Windows and you get a different site that doesn't have this option, here's what you need to do. Go to search and type Edge. You need to use the Microsoft Edge browser, not Google Chrome, not Mozilla Firefox. Then when you do the same search, you land on this page instead, which talks about media creation tools and licensing options. It thinks you're a professional Windows information technology administrator. You need to tell it, no, I'm just the average Luddite, thanks. To do that, you click on the three dots in the upper right. You go down to where just above settings, you'll see more tools. When you hover over it, the menu will open and then you should click on developer tools at the bottom. Your screen will probably look much scarier than this. Don't be frightened. Just go up to the top and either you'll see the word emulation or in the bar, you'll see a down arrow icon that you can click and emulation will be there. When you click on emulation, you'll be on this screen and you'll see an option for user agent string. Currently it says Microsoft Edge, but you want to switch it to Apple Safari iPad. It literally turns on the easy button. The page will refresh and instead of giving you complex options that even I don't understand, boom, you get the same download option as everyone else. Microsoft be like Apple users, Pfft, fine, we'll make it easy for you. Now that we're all at the same downloads page, you'll select Microsoft Windows 10, click confirm, select your language, click confirm, and unless you know otherwise, you should download the 64-bit version. The download will be in your downloads folder. So that's how you download the Windows 10 ISO. Stay tuned for how to use it. If you've got any other questions, let me know. Like if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe and hit the bell if you want more like this. Adios.